Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to show you something on Ravelry. <laughs> um, I mentioned looking up specific yarns and patterns for them in a video at some point. <laughs> and I had a couple questions about how to do that on Ravelry. If you don't use Ravelry, that's fine. You know, like, no judgment, just don't watch this video. <laughs> but if you do use Ravelry, watch it. So I'm gonna be somewhere on the screen and then I'm also screen recording so you can see what I'm clicking on and all that. This is on a desktop computer, so it's a little different if you're on like a mobile device. But uh, yeah, anyways, it's basically the same. It's just, they might be in different locations on your screen. So I'm gonna show you how to look up yarns and also how to sort patterns to where you can see by the yardage or the weight of the yarn, stuff like that. So basically go to Ravelry and log in if you're not already and um, we'll go from there. Okay, I have laundry on in the background, real off. Anyways, here's the Ravelry homepage. So first to look up yarns, you would go up here to where it says yarns <laughs> and click on it. <laughs> and then you would type in your yarn. Um, in this particular case, I just grabbed this random ball right here. And this is Premier Yarn Serenity Chunky. So I would type in Serenity Chunky. <laughs> I think I spelled that wrong. No, I spelled it right, okay. <laughs> All right, and then it would bring up the yarns related to that. So like it has, um, is this super chunky? It just says chunky. So up here it says Serenity Big Ombre, Serenity Chunky Heathers, Serenity Chunky Tweed, Serenity Chunky Prints. Uh, I guess this is, I don't know if this is a print one. It doesn't say, maybe I should use a different yarn as an example. Oh, um, there, yeah. We'll go up here to um, prints because I'm pretty sure mine's a print. And then this is the uh, page for the yarn. It talks about the weight of the yarn, how much yardage is in it, Stuff like that but to look up specific patterns for it or what people have made with it not patterns for it but what people have made you would go up here to where it says projects and click on that and then that will share all the projects that people have made and put on Ravelry with that yarn so you can see a lot of people made hats and scarves and there's a little gnome and it's all mixed up knit and crochet so if you want to switch it to where it is just crochet you would go up here to advanced and click on that and then over here on the left side you would click crochet and you can also click like finished so that you only see projects people finished making <laughs> and um, then you could also go scroll down a little bit to it only has a photo and how much yardage they use like if you have two balls of this and it's the one I have is a big giant one. It's like a jumbo one. So it's got 273 yards. So if I wanted to use that, I would highlight like these two because it would cover the, the yardage that I have. And then you can scroll back up and see what people made with that yarn with about that much yardage or less. And then you can just kind of browse. And in order to see the patterns they used, you would click on it like these cute little mittens here. We'll click on the mittens. And then right here's the pattern name. If it is a Ravelry pattern linked or a from another website, it would be linkable and you could click it. Sometimes if it's like something someone made up their own, they might have notes down here saying that they made it up themselves or whatever. But then you could click on that and then it would take you to the pattern page to where you could either buy it or download it or be sent to the website that has it on there. So that's how you look up for specific yarns. And then again, you could type in a different yarn. Like if you wanted to, you like if you had mandala cakes, we type in mandala, which you can see I already have. <laughs> and then it would bring up all the mandalas. So right there's the regular mandala. Right here's mandala ombre, which is my personal favorite. <laughs> mandala baby, sparkle, you know, just keeps going. You find the one you want, like ombre. And then it brings you to the yarn page. And then again, you can go up to projects. And that will take you to where people who have made anything with mandala ombre on Ravelry and logged it, it will pop it up. Apparently hats are very popular. And again, if you wanted to make it crochet only or knit only or whatever, you would hit advanced. And on the left sidebar, you would sort it out the way you wanted it. Like, you just want crochet patterns. You just want finished items. And then again, you can change the yardage. There's Happy. I love the Happy Kelly. And you can see all the blankets and tops and things people have made. And then if you're interested in the pattern, 
you would just click on the project <laughs> and again it would be right there on right, project info so then you would click that and there's the pattern and it's a free pattern so you would click either here and sometimes you can scroll down and click it right there oh it's a crochet crowd <laughs> and you can then go download it or just you know whatever if it's a free Ravelry pattern over here on this side it'll have where you can download it for free but that's how you look up yarns so now if you want to look up uh, patterns by like different weight yarns or yardage that you have you would click on the patterns button up here and then just click on the little magnifying glass so it will take you to this page where it's like shows all the newest ones and then you would be focusing on the left side over here. So like I would only want crochet ones because I don't knit. So I would click crochet, which it already is. And then I would scroll down. I like to click the free button <laughs> so that all the patterns that you click on on this page now will be free patterns only. You can do has a photo if you want, which I like because I like to be able to see what it is. And if you keep scrolling down, you can change. Right here's the yarn weight. Like if you're looking for a worsted weight project, click on worsted. And you can also choose yardage, which I like to do also. Like if I have a couple of balls or something and I want to use up and I have like 500 yards, I would click these ones. If I want to try to use up as much as possible. If you want 500 or less, you would just click the closest one to 500 and then down. So it'd bring up all the little projects. And then another thing I like to do, because this shows like the most popular ones usually. Well, it says best match. But right here it says sort by, you can choose what's popular right now what's new to Ravelry, which is what I like to do. <laughs> so I like to see new patterns. And then they have most popular, which is the most, uh, um, the one that is clicked on the most. <laughs> most projects is the one that most people have uh, saved projects on Ravelry. Most favorited is the ones that are most favorited and you can just change it from there. But I usually click new to Ravelry so that I can see the newest patterns first. And then these are all projects that use crochet. They're free. These worsted weight yarn, 600 yards and under. So, hey, there's that one thing I was talking about the other day. <laughs> um, I was talking, I was talking about this pattern just the other day. But uh, and you can scroll through there, and then when you find something like this caddy, I have it favorited. <laughs> you click on it, and then that's the project page for it, and it's by Dickie's Homemade Craft. And then it'll say right here that it takes worsted weight yarn, and it's a G hook. It uses three to 400 yards. And you can scroll down. This is a pay for pattern, but uh, that's if you buy the PDF. If you want it for free, and I think it says it down here somewhere that it's for free also, you would click it on right here. It says visit pattern website, and that'll bring it up straight to Nikki's website. And it has the written um, tutorial. And she uh, she has a video of that one I just did. I don't know if there's a video of this one. My computer's slow. It's taking forever to load. <laughs> but um, it's there, I promise. You just have to scroll down and right here is like the stuff you would need and then the pattern starts below it so even though it says that it's a paid for pattern on Ravelry sometimes they're free as well um, if you you just have to read the pattern notes a lot of times it's just paid for if it's a PDF download because they take a lot of work to make um, and then yes it's it's free with ads on her website it's right there in bold <laughs> But um, yeah, so that's a pretty cool project. I kind of want to make that one. <laughs> but that's how you look up yarns specifically and then patterns by weight and um, yardage and stuff. I use that feature a lot. Like if I have a random ball yarn like this, I, pulled, I have two of these and I pulled them out of my stash because I want to try to use them up. Um, so I'm going to be looking up. This is a number five. So for mine, I would do crochet and free. <laughs> and then instead of worsted, I would highlight and let it load. Bulky. And then it's got 273 yards. I have two of them. So what would that be? <laughs> I can't calculate right off the top of my head. That would be around 600 yards. So I'm, I'm just gonna highlight the 450 to 600. And then that, this is all the bulky patterns for free around 600 yards. So there's a pillow, there's some little sweaters for skinny people, <laughs> uh, a rug, hats, slippers, little blankets, bags, all kinds of stuff. Amigurumi, cute little fat amigurumis. <laughs> there's all kinds of things that you can find on Ravelry that way. And then if you do want to buy patterns, you can also um, change this part to where it's um, purchase online. That would be like PDF downloads or it would also link you to like Etsy shops and stuff 
and uh, Ravelry downloads is where you can get you download it from Ravelry those can be also free sometimes a lot of them are free and a lot of them you have to pay for you can also search your own library if you have a big library on here so it's really it's a handy feature to use these sidebars because you can narrow down what you're looking for but yeah so it's got all the different weights here it's also you can do sizes and fits and genders which I use that sometimes but normally I don't <laughs> and um, it's just handy to have these little sidebar things because it helps you search for things and it's the same by the sort by because a lot of times if I'm making something I like to hit most popular to see what other people make <laughs> and uh, like the baskets right there I've made this blanket before and you know this cute little hoodie thing there's all kinds of cute things on there but yeah so that's it this is basically made this video for Chris <laughs> she's the one who specifically asked how to look up my yarns and um, weights and stuff so that's it it's pretty easy and it's helpful that's how I find most of my patterns I, I usually find most of my patterns that I make on Ravelry or like if I'm scrolling through Facebook and someone shares something um, that's usually where I find them is Ravelry I check Ravelry usually every few days because if you go to the patterns just refresh it and you click on the little magnifying glass to get it um, to the main pattern page I like to ever like usually every couple days I'll go on here and do that I'll click make sure crochet is clicked and free because I like free patterns <laughs> and then I go up here and click new to Ravelry and then all the brand new patterns that just got put on Ravelry will pop up and I check those every few days <laughs> just in case there's something cool that pops up there's a Valentine's snow globe see that's cute and little amber creamies all kinds of cute little stormtrooper little mouse <laughs> all kinds of cute things and then there's just pages and pages and pages of patterns <laughs> on here and uh you just flip through them and browse patterns and you can download them you can add them to your um li your library and if it's a free pattern that you add to your library that is a pdf download it will be in your Ravelry forever even if the person who made the pattern deletes the post for it it'll still be downloadable for you so I always suggest doing that like this pillow is really pretty let me click on it it's underground crafter so if you like it you could hit save to favorites and you can also do bundles I have bundles <laughs> but you can just save it to general favorites and then that way you can come back and find it easy by going over here to your notebook and going to favorites and it puts them in the order that you most recently favorited so if I click on favorites now, um, see there, there it is. These are other patterns that I've most recently favorited. <laughs> and uh, then I can get to it again to download it or copy the pattern down or whatever. And then I also, have, my bundles are right here. And I have a fair or wish list bundle. These are paid for patterns that I want to get eventually. And then Christmas ornaments. And I usually, I have a ton of bundles and then as I make them, I delete them. So it's just, it's handy. Ravelry is really handy if you just learn how to use it and um it's nice because it's a good way to organize patterns and stuff i used to keep track of my projects on here but i slacked off <laughs> so like yeah right here's my patterns i stopped taking pictures and i just kind of got to where i didn't do it anymore but that's handy too because then you can look back and see what pattern you used but i just started using um pen and paper because i would forget to log on and like update this but anyways i'm gonna quit now before i sit here just show everything on Ravelry. But over the years of using Ravelry, I've learned a lot of stuff about it, and it's a really handy uh, tool for pattern searching if you uh, just learn, take a little bit of time to learn how to use the little t tricks. <laughs> and But yeah, but here you go, Chris. <laughs> I hope that helped. If you still have another question, let me know, and I'll try to show it better. But I'm going to hop off here and try to get this edited because I'm recording it on my phone and also on my computer, so I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to match that up. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to try. <laughs> so I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.